Hello, my friends. It's always a pleasure to see you. I got Scott. I suckered Scott. Let's say that. I'm running around a trade show today. Bumped into Scott. I was like, Scott, you want to hop on camera with me? I got to talk citizen. Let's yes. talk to the Mexican people and let yes. them know where citizen can come into play to help them run through the nights, make money, become more efficient. Ultimately, that's where we want to be. But Scott knows the details of the machine. I just talk too much and get excited. But maybe that's why some people watch. Scott, Let's talk citizen. Let's talk about this small footprint. Let's talk about what it can do across the world, but certainly here in Mexico where we are today. Okay. So right now this is the A320 Type 7. Um, what it is is it's, it's a, a nice platform. Um, it's, it's specifically made to uh, run a complete part off so you don't have to have any secondary prop, uh, problems with that. Um, it's also made for uh, overnight running too also. Um, you can run lights out pretty much with this machine. We also have a lot of accessories that actually go with the machine also too. Um, this machine particularly comes in uh, LFV too if you want, um, which actually cuts the chips really nice, um, low frequency vibration. Um, it's also, you can get an upgrade from a 20 millimeter to a 25 millimeter also. Um, actually touching off tools are really simple. Um, Citizen has a nice overlay, so all you would have to do is touch the side of your, your tool and the top of your tool and you're ready to run. Um, just a very nice, affordable, efficient machine that you can produce a lot of parts off of. A couple of things I want to bring up as we discuss this machine yep. and all of its potentials uh, are one, when we're running through the nights, and certainly on Swiss machines, yes. when we're doing that type of turning, there are materials that can get, let's say, more wrapped up yes. than others. And I heard yes. you say a little bit about the chips are nice. So, so let's talk about chip breaking, but also yep. simultaneously, I want to talk about how many people here in Mexico are still running up 10 on one machine, 20 yes. on another machine, yes. 30 on another machine, and Correct. you can do it all in one place. Correct. So how this basically machine works is you have two spindles. You have side one and side two. So what happens is you do a lot of the, your front turning, milling, whatever on the front side. And then when you go to cut the, cut the part off, the subspindle comes in, grabs the part, comes over and starts doing the secondary operations while the front part starts the, the main side again and starts the other part over. So it's just constantly making the part over and over again, just nonstop. So at night, like he brought up, a lot of chip problems, chip control, that's where LFV comes in. Um, we have an option on these machines, low frequency vibration, that actually will cut the chips. Um, it works at a vibration and it will cut the chips really small, tiny, so you don't have to worry about those wraparound chips no more. Uh, that is all over with. Um, so it's really a nice lights out machine. It also, um, if something happens at night, you get into like a emergency or some a tool smash or something, this machine will automatically shut off and kill everything. And then in the morning when you come in, you start the machine up, it'll tell you the code or the alarm system that will happen to you. Yeah, really great bonuses yes. because I've heard nightmare stories yes. about one chip or one insert, let's say chipping yes. or breaking or being altogether gone. Yes and it's ruined the entire yes. night of product. So really great point there, Scott. And what's nice about this machine too, it's very sensitive. So if it feels any push or any, any hardcore, anything like a tool really cutting really hard, it's automatically gonna stop for you. It has those sensors on it where it will definitely stop for you. Another thing to point out on this machine too, is it has sensors in it also too, that actually control and monitor the, the, the base of the machine for temperature. So in the morning, when you guys come in, say you come in and it's cold or whatever, sometimes a lot of machines you have to adjust. This machine will do adjustments behind the scenes so it always stays the same. Clever. So that's pretty good. Clever. All right, so let's close this out with yep. the booth we're standing on today yes. and talk about your support here in Mexico. So right now I am uh, reg assistant regional manager for Mexico. Um, our support is uh, with high tech. High tech's really, really good. Uh, place. Um, it has a lot of support from uh, us in uh, Citizen. Um, we also do training with them also um, and we will always support them any way possible but they have a really good team, service team, applications team, they, you name it they have it. Scott you're awesome. Everyone watching you saw how many people were walking in front yes. of the camera while we were talking. That's how busy the booth is. That's how many people want to see Citizen yes. today and get their production really going and it's about to happen again just as we're talking <laughs> about it. Perfect timing. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Perfect.